Okay, hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. I've been promising to pick this capture species profile multiple times, but I can't seem to make them active. So I'm going to do the species profile with inactive Pictus. And I will post some images of Pictus in within the video. I'll post several different images. And oh wait, there's Pictus. He moved. So um the Pictus catfish is a small catfish of the Pym family. And its scientific name is Pymoloidus Pictus. Now, the Pictus catfish, they're from South America, and they grow to about 4 inches long. There are some other types of Pictus, but we're going to be focusing on the common Pictus, which is one you most commonly see in uh, pet stores. Now, the Pictus catfish, they are quite peaceful, and they're sometimes sold as a shoaling fish. Now, the issue of them being sold as a shoaling fish is that they only show when they're young, and when they're young, they have the, a slightly different morphology. For example, really young Pictus, their barbells are longer in their body. And then as adults, the barbells are about half as long as their body. So, um, you don't really need to keep them as shoal. And for a fact, I find the adults are territorial. For example, the most dominant Pictus usually gets the best hiding spot, like this guy over here. And then the one over here has a less, uh, has a less, well, uh, not as good hiding spot. And, um, seems to be the more you have, the more active they are, because they spend a lot of time, uh, I guess kind of, I guess you could say they, uh, they spar with each other over, over hiding spots. And um, they also make a lot of noise. For example, they make these vibrating sounds. They vibrate the pectoral spins. And make a buzzing sound. Sometimes they say, sound almost like a uh, like a cell phone vibrating. Or a... What would be a good example? A, a hair trimmer vibrating. So, um... When it comes to uh, their uh, temperament, they're peaceful. They sometimes may squabble with our bomb dwellers. But it's usually nothing serious. Um, one of the main issues that Pictus have in the hobby is that among young hobbyists or inexperienced hobbyists, the uh, pet stores sometimes sell Pictus as being an ideal starfish. They're not an ideal starfish. They require really good water, and they are really sensitive to iodine. So if you're going to use medications in your tank, don't use any medications with iodine, as that will make your Pictus sick or kill them. Same thing with copper. They don't like that either. So avoid medications with copper or iodine in them when you're uh, treating your tanks. And they are not a good starfish because they prefer the cleaner water. Uh, so I would say you should not get this fish unless you have at least a year or so of experience. And you've kept tank stable before. So, um, and then the final issue that is a common issue among people who first buy Pictus is the pet store sells them as a small community catfish. Now, they're good with fish that are at least more than two-thirds of their body size, because they tend to eat fish that are one-third of their body size. Particularly slim-bodied fish, these guys have a reputation for devouring neons, cherry barbs, guppies. They're actually pretty good in a um, mall in certain uh, live bird tanks because they'll devour the fry and they'll keep the population down. But the issue is they might also devour the adults too. So keep that in mind. I've had a friend, he bought, picked this catfish, he bought two, and then he bought these uh, young black fam tetras. Next day, he had no black fam tetras left. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Now as for uh, food, um, these guys who go on shrimp pellets, um, they also seem to like uh, tube fix worms. They love those. Um, these guys, they love earthworms a lot. Remember to clean the earthworms properly though, when you feed them earthworms. You can feed them chopped up or whole earthworms. And of course they also like to eat your small fish, so make sure that doesn't happen by accident unless it's an intentional thing. And also, they do eat some plant material, and they're generally, the PIMs are generally considered to be carnivorous. These guys, they'll also eat algae wafers. So, um, the Pictus catfish, they are a good community fish if you're dealing with, uh, larger fish that they can't eat. And, um, one thing to keep in mind about them is that they have, uh, like all, pretty much all catfish, they have, uh, three spines. They have, uh, pectoral spines, a spine, and a dorsal fin. The thing about the Pictus catfish, and I remember the PIM family, is that the uh, spine is coated with venom. So if the spine brushes against you and it cuts you, or it just pokes into your skin, you will actually uh, cause a pain reaction. It's a pain venom. It's a pain, it's, well, it's a pain-inducing toxin. It's not a nerve toxin or anything like that. It just causes pain. But if you are sensitive to bee stings, or you have uh, allergies, certain stings, do not keep picked as catfish as the stings will be very similar to a terrible allergic, can cause a terrible allergic reaction to people that are sensitive to it. 
And um, also, uh, oh, jeez, I'm having a bit of brain farts. This is actually, it's very hard to filming because I'm laying down on my belly. But, um, another thing to keep in mind is when you catch these guys, do not put them in that. Don't catch them in that. They tangle up. And uh, sometimes you'll have to cut them out of that if they get tangled up. So if you're going to catch them, use a plastic bag or a cup. So um, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. There'll be some more uh, detail in this video after I'm done filming. So uh, peace out.